circle through three points. In this module, you will learn that one and only one circle can pass through three given non-collinear points. Consider a point A. Many circles can pass through this point. Thus, we can generalize that infinite number of circles can pass through a point. Now consider points A and B. How many circles can be drawn through points A and B? All the points lying on the perpendicular bisector of AB are equidistant from A and B both. So, if we take any point O on the perpendicular bisector of AB as center and radius equal to OA or OB, then we can draw a circle passing through A and B both. Consider three points A, B and C which lie in a straight line that is they are collinear. Can you draw a circle passing through all these three points? The answer is no because every time you try to draw a circle through these three points one point will lie either inside or outside the circle. To obtain a point equidistant from A, B and C, join AB and BC and construct a perpendicular bisector of AB. Now construct a perpendicular bisector of BC intersecting the perpendicular bisector of AB at O. Since every point on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment is equidistant from its end point, you get OA is equal to OB and OB is equal to OC. As the center of the circle is unique, so there can be only one circle that passes through the given non-collinear points. In this module you have learned that infinite number of circles can pass through a point. Infinite number of circles can pass through two given points. There is one and only one circle passing through three given non-collinear points.